president at CPAC wasn't enamored with a strong dollar or higher rates. Now let's forget the Fed a minute and talk about a strong dollar and market rates moving higher. I see both those in many positive ways that the president doesn't. Will you please weigh in? I think the president is, is very smart in understanding the impact of changes in relative currency values on the terms of trade. So he knows what he's talking about when he brings that up. In a way, it's unfortunate that we say strong or weak dollar because those are really the wrong adjectives. We're talking about an overvalued or an undervalued dollar. We want our currency to be strong in the sense that it accurately reflects the, the strengths of our economy, which I think is, are stronger than, than the other developed economies in the world today. And what we don't want is for trade and investment flows to be artificially distorted because of changes in, in currency. We don't want to reward the speculators and, and people who are betting on differential market rates, uh, interest rates, to benefit at the expense of people who are actually producing goods that they want to be able to sell competitively around the world, but legitimately competitively, not just through uh, currency gyrations. And considering your role and how uh, informed you are on many of the structural issues that may be impeding Europe and Japan as well, now that we're in a global environment, it's pretty hard to reverse that, we have to deal with the fact that Europe and Japan have issues. How can we continue to expand this growth cycle that the U.S. is in? Is it a mutually exclusive binary scenario? If they're slow, we have to slow down. How can we continue to grow but yet not count and depend on others to fix what they have been unable to address for basically the last 10 years. Well, that really brings up this whole problem with the way um, interest rates and market rates and currency values um, are kind of a, a wag the dog situation. On the basis of just real economies, it's true. Our economy is very competitive and we see negative rates and very shaky growth estimates for Europe and Japan. And what I would think would be highly unfair is if uh, those countries are able to um, make changes that they think gives them a competitive advantage uh, through depreciation of their currencies, for example, uh, which I don't consider competitive. I, I, I think it's, it's cheating, really. So the United States has a great advantage and, and we can even overcome these distortions through the, the uh, monetary effects, but uh, it would certainly be better if it were just the, the actual, genuine, growth-oriented, competitive attributes of individual economies competing against each other.